The most frequent word in a language is typically twice as frequent as the next most frequent word in a language, and three times as frequent as the third most frequent word in the language, and so on. This pattern is called Zipf's Law, after the linguist who discovered it, and it holds approximately for all natural languages. In fact, this is one piece of evidence that suggests that the mysterious language of the Voynich manuscript is actually a natural language just written in some sort of cipher, rather than an invented language. Zipf's Law applies to other types of data sets as well, for example, the population size of cities, or the personal incomes of people in a country. Linguists aren't entirely sure why Zipf's Law holds for languages. Some have suggested that it might just be a natural artifact of these types of data sets, and it might also be related to Zipf's Law of Brevity, which states that the more frequent a word is, the shorter it tends to be. Zipf himself also suggested the principle of least effort as an explanation for Zipf's Law, and this says that both speakers and hearers are constantly trying to minimize the amount of effort they have to put into conversation, basically. So for a speaker, they want to try and make the words as short as possible because it makes it easier to say. But speakers want long and distinctive words, so there's this tension between speaker ease and hearer ease. Economy or efficiency and iconicity or distinctiveness are competing motivations, and a balance between the two results in a Zipfian distribution. If you want to learn more about how language works, like this video.